Welcome to another edition of Sling Paint. I am Berto. I'm Nims. What up? All right. So we got some cool stuff today. Yeah, I got some goodies um, I'd like to share with you all. All right. So we're gonna. This episode is gonna be for the Thai Punisher. We're gonna open this bad boy up yeah. and show you what all it's got. Now, before you open up this thing, I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, wow. I mean, compared to like a Thai bomber and a Thai, this thing's huge. Yeah. You put this thing next to. Um, a uh, a tie fighter, uh, an interceptor, you it know. It makes it look small. Yeah, phantom, <laughs> and we'll do a comparison too, just to show you guys. But um, yeah, this a, this ship is definitely a lot larger that thing is than I thought it was going to be when I ordered it. Yeah. So, all right, so let's open that bad boy up. So you already kind of pre-cut it. Yep. So as you can see, you know, we kind of pre-cut it just to make sure it opens easy. All right. So let me turn the camera angle down here. Give me a sec. Kay. All right. So let's open this all bad right. boy. So, obviously, anybody who's got any ships uh, knows as soon as you open it, you've got your oh, templates, templates, stuff like and that. Templates and stuff. Nice, nice. The uh, the credits to the builders. Yes. Who who all built the uh, the models and everything, mm -hmm. the designers, etc. Uh, then you get to the ship itself. Oh yes! Open that bad boy. This nice little thermoform plastic <laughs> case here. So, I mean, yeah, that's, wow. that's, that's a nice big ship. Let that me, thing is pretty, and using a standard small base, okay. Yeah, standard small base. So it's not a, it's not considered a large ship. No, nope, we're going to put it on a peg uh, just to make it a little bit easier for me to hold up and show you. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually, I think I have, uh, I'm trying to find my other ship. So just to show a comparison here, it's got the twin ion engines. Um... Pretty much, it's double the size of a a bomber. I feel. And, right. Uh, if you want to pull one of those, yeah, out, I'm gonna pull one of those. We can so show you. Let's pull out a bomber but, here. Yeah, right. looks like a little bit larger solar panels. Yeah, so that's a bomber. Let me get to put them on a peg so we can show them. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely. Yeah. Turn to the side. Yeah, it's like the mini me. Uh, the bomber is like the mini me of the uh, the Punisher here. Look at that thing. Like, you know, if, if I was like a pilot for one of these things and like Invader says, okay, man, your ship. So like, I'd be looking at like, okay, do I get the Punisher or do I get this thing? Like, screw this regular, regular bomber. <laughs> Give me that thing. That yeah. thing is huge. So, so what what has it got for as far as movement dials and stuff? All right. So let's, let's get into that a little bit just because right. while you think it's, you know, Yes, it's an awesome looking ship. Yeah. All right. Let me, yeah. Let's 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 stand that bad boy up there. There we go. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a a base on the regular uh, just to show the here, difference, just right? to show that difference okay. while you're unpacking that because that thing, I mean, and it's it's so I and I know from looking reading it what it has it's it's got a lot more armament on that thing. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, look at the size comparison of that thing. Definitely a lot. So your basic, you know. Movement dials, it's got your shields, ion. So as far as movement, what does it got for movement here? All right, so for movement, we'll go ahead and hold that up. All right, so it's definitely got the one slight right. Ooh, it's nice. And the green maneuvers, straight, slight yep. right. And looks like the hard two and the hard, hard left two and a hard right two are red maneuvers. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not as maneuverable as a normal TIE fighter or anything like that. Right. You kind of come to accept that because it's got... You know, it's a large, larger ship. Right. But there's one thing you, you might want to notice on here. Go ahead. All right. Look at the... Um, well, well it might be easier to do it this way. Let, on the cards? Yeah, let's do it this way. So, the first pilot out of the out of the bag here is a pilot skill 7, and his name is Redline. Redline. I love the name. But a ship that size that has boost. It has boost. Wow. Okay. Okay. So it says you may maintain two target locks on the same ship. That's huge. Yeah. I, that's that's a good that's big because you can So you know where that comes in handy. Look at all the ordnance this thing can carry down at the bottom. <laughs> that thing's got okay. everything. <laughs> you've got bombs, you've got missiles, you've got torpedoes. You have the right. you have even the percussion uh, the seismic stuff. Yep. Man, that's got everything on that thing. So to so maintain two lockets when you require a target lock, you may acquire a second lock on that same Ship. So, so any attack that says you have to burn a target lock to use it, 
You still have a target lock left after you roll the damage. That's unreal. And so it's got two attack, which you really don't care about with, with like the like the bomber and the punisher. Right. You, know, you, you don't care about really the attack. You care about what the, the ordinance you can send. Right, because with a low attack like that, you know, we'll get into the, the right. ordinance here in a second, but usually that's three dice, four dice, sometimes five, depending on depending what it on what is. what you outfit it with. All right. All right. So key things to note right off the bat. Points. Uh, six hull, three shield. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice, you know, bulky little tank, yeah. but again, one agility. Now, it's not a large ship, right. so to say, but... It's still got the just the one agility. And it's 27 points. And yeah. with all the ordnance that you got to put on that thing, I mean, you're talking about probably at least 50 points, if not more. Close to it. Yeah. Um, a surprise later, I've already built a list. Nice. And uh, we'll go ahead and show everybody out right, there good. what this thing can do. Um, Sweet. Next up on the list is Death Rain. Death Rain. Oh, I love that name. Yep. Pilot yeah. skill six. Two, one, six, three, just like the yep. others. Same everything else. 26 points. So when dropping a bomb, you may use the first guides of your ship. After dropping a bomb, you may perform a free barrel roll action. So what, Front guides, I'm sorry. Yep. So what comes in handy there is most most ships that you can do bombs with, uh, you have to drop them out of the back of your ship. Right. Okay? This one, he can fly up to somebody right in front of them, drop, drop a bomb, it. and barrel roll out of the way. That's awesome. So it's like, surprise. Yeah, I, you know, Fantasy Flights and the guys who are creating these games, man, I mean, they really, I really get a kick out of what, the, every time they release new ships, it just throws, the, you know, the, the metadata for the games and everything. Yep. It's just amazing. I, I love it. I love it. All right. I mean, you can never get bored with this game. <laughs> Next up is um, Black 8 Squadron Pilot. Black 8 Squadron. Okay, so there's no ability, but nope. 2163, 23 points. 23 points, pilot skill 4, so okay. he's middle of the pack. It looks like he's still got the same ordinance as everything else and upgrades, I should say. Yep. Okay. TIE Punisher. Sorry. Right. Cutlass Squadron Pilot for the TIE Punisher. Okay. Pilot skill 2. Nice. Still same exact loadouts down here at the bottom. Okay. Uh, 21 points. So that's not bad. Ten, you know, ten to twelve points more than a basic academy pilot Tie Fighter, but again, shields, hull, tons of ordnance. So the difference between that one and the um, Death Rain and also Red Line, you got so if it's twenty-seven points, that one's twenty uh, one. 21 one points, yep. Yeah, it, it goes 21 from lowest to highest pilot skill. It goes 21, 23, 26, 27. So for you basically you're losing pilot skill value with all of this because I don't see it. Correct. Well as, Plus, okay. you know, a couple little perks from the, the name pilots, right. the uniques. Okay. All right. Cool. Love it. Um, so oh, we, you got a whole bunch of new upgrade yeah, cards. So it just goes over boost, boost action, yeah. which anybody who's playing kind of knows what that is. But for those of you who might not know what boost is, um, you get to do that as an action, mm -hmm. and you get to move either forward one, slight left one, or slight right one. That's all right, as your action. Ion token, because of all the ordinance it's carrying. And I, I'm a big fan of ion tokens, especially with the large ships when you play with them and you get to run them off the maps. Oh, yeah, you just, yeah. You just, you just I, stop I, I, them. Yep, exactly. Absolutely. All right, it goes over how to use bombs. Mm -hmm. All right, that'll come in handy later. And that one shows how you drop the bomb in behind, but like I said, that one ability for, I think it was uh, for Red Line, not Red Line, the other guy. Correct. Yep. Where you get to use Death Rain, where you Death get to Rain. do it in the front. Yep. All right. And now a, a new one, using Cluster Mines. Yeah. All right. So with Cluster Mines, you take the one maneuver template and slide it between the rear guides of your ship, mm -hmm. place the central Cluster Mine token in the play area, and slide the guides of the token into the opposite end of the template. Okay. Three, place one additional Cluster Mine token in each of the recessed areas of the central mine token. So You're lining them three up right You get there. to drop three right in a row. That's pretty cool. Yep. And I'm pretty sure they can just be hit one at a time. So if you run into one, you just blow one up. I like that. But we'll double check for you. Bomb tokens, it goes over an ion bomb, and it goes over a cluster mine token, which we kind of just did. Yep. And, you know, typical goes over modifications, 
and upgrades and yeah. limited upgrades. I'm just gonna show that, to be able to <laughs> man. I really, I'm a big Punisher, the uh, regular, not Punisher. I'm sorry, Tie Bomber fan. I have a yep. list that does the regular Tie, and this thing, I'm, I'm itching to figure out what to do with this bad boy. <laughs> anyway, all right. So for for the upgrade cards, you've got enhanced scopes. Mm -hmm. All right. During the activation phase, treat your pilot skill value as zero. So if you always want to move first, there right. you go. Mm -hmm. That's going to come in handy if you have a high pilot skill value, but you want to make sure you know where you're going first, and then you still get to attack first, too. Mm -hmm. Extra munitions. This is a limited card. What that does is um, pretty much you equip this card, and you get one additional um, bomb, torpedo, uh, missile, and the ordinance you have, you pretty much get double. Nice. Yeah. So you can use weapons twice. Yep. Flechette torpedoes. A lot of people like flechette. Yep. Yep. Nice little, uh, That's little cool. damage. That's cool. So target lock. Discard this card. Spend your target lock. Perform that attack. After you perform this attack, the defender receives one stress token if its hold value is four or lower. Yep. Yep. Which most, most ships kind of, smaller, smaller ships, ships have yeah. a smaller hull. Plasma torpedoes. Nice. Again, it's another target lock. You got to spend it as if this attack hits. After dealing damage, remove one shield token from the defender. Yeah. So you're dealing damage. Yep. And then you take the shield. So if you're ordnance and you have that, and you, you're facing up, um, let's say a large ship, mm -hmm. I would use that card first. Throw everything you got at it, and then you can, if it hits, you can take another additional shield on right. top of it. So that's huge. Advanced homing missiles. Okay. So, so that's another target lock. Says if this attack hits, deal one face-up damage card to the defender, then cancel all the dice. So they don't get to defend against this. If it hits, I'm I'm sorry, they do get to defend. Right. But it's an automatic crit if it hits. Yep. And it bypasses shields, which is good. So if somebody has shields, doesn't matter. They get a face-up damage card no matter what. And it's, I like that because you can really, at the end of the day, it doesn't care about what shields, it cares about what hull's left. Right, because yeah. you could have you know, zero hull and right. four shields, and you're done. And if you outfit your ship with that, like, you, know, you can get on um, the Punisher, you can get two of those, and if yeah. you have the upgrade, you can get technically almost four of those double. Yeah. So two, two yep. So that's a huge thing where you can just, you're just serving crits all day and bypass those shields. Yeah. All right, here's a new one, Cluster Mines. Nice. So this is an action. So discard this card to drop one cluster mine token set. Whenever a ship's base maneuvers template overlaps a cluster mine, that, that token det detonates. So that means it stays on the map indefinitely until yeah. somebody runs it over. Yep. Huge. All right. Ion bomb. Ion bombs. Okay. So when you reveal this, reveal, I can't speak today. When you reveal your maneuver dial, you may discard this card to drop one ion bomb token. This token detonates at the end of the act activation phase. So that, no matter so what, so once detonates. everybody does done activating, right? Then it, it goes. Detonates. All That's right. Now here's here's a new one that came with this ship. There's two of these. Okay. Um, and it's for our only ties. So tie fighter, tie advance, punisher, interceptor, anything tie know, class, tie bomber, anything tie. Okay. It like is typhoon. the twin ion engine Mark II. All right, so tie only modification. You may treat all bank maneuvers, slight right, slight left, as green maneuvers. All right, and there's two of those. Nice. So it outfits with two of them. Yep. Oh, that's weird. Why would it give it two cards? Well, so you can use for any other ties. Ah, okay. That's okay. it's just an upgrade yeah, it's that got came the with the defender on that too. Right? Yep. It's a picture of the defender. It's on. got a picture of the defender on there. So nice. I mean that this this ship you definitely gonna you're gonna see some enlists. I mean it's it's like borderline large ship, um, and it could I mean it can give serve up some nasty damage. Just give you an idea of the size of those uh, cluster mines. You got three of these in a row. Yep. And use uh, the base. Uh, uh, all right, so it's pretty much a small ship base. It's like a one all the way around. Yep. Okay. Here's your ion bomb. Nice. Same thing. Pretty much close to yep. size of one base. Mm -hmm. I like that. So, yep. That's it. You got your normal shield. All right. Focus. And I, th and I think stress. Anakin likes 
future, aka Darth Vader, likes his new <laughs> ship that he's got there, and he's happy about it. You're happy? Yes, I'm happy. All right. All right. So that's it for the Tie Punisher. Um, you'll be seeing him shortly here in action in our next match, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll see what happens. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks for another edition of Sling Pain. Remember, like this video if you like it. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on, on Facebook at facebook.com uh, slash Sling Paint and on Twitter, twitter.com slash Sling Paint. Um, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching. All right, bye.